This video, you know, it comes to you to the inspiration of of the John the seventeen chapter the fifteen verse, you know. And um, I was meditating on this precept a day ago, and um, it has led me. The spirit has led me to think about this other precept too. So I'll start with this other precept. Um, I think it's First Timothy chapter two verse five. You know, I when you ready, read this precept, you know, as Apostle Ella Gaba always say, you know, you have to envision what you're reading. And um, you have to envision it, what happening in the spiritual world. And how it, and how this precept links with, with John the 17th chapter. You know, so you have to envision it in the spiritual world. Like, your house is actually pleading our cause for us. And we're not supposed to take that for granted ever. We're not supposed to take the, the, the mercy that Yahweh Ba'asham Shai showed us to actually come into this truth and to teach us this knowledge, you know. He set up men over us to teach us this knowledge and that is mercy. That is mercy. And, and Apostle Gaba always say you have to envision it. So how, how blessed are the elect or how blessed are uh, we who, who believe in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai to have this knowledge, to have this truth. How blessed are we? So, we're not supposed to take this thing lightly. This is really supposed to be our first love. This is supposed to be our first priority. You know, because of these precepts. You know, this is um, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. He said, for there is one power and one mediator, mediator between power and men. So there is one power, which is the Heavenly Father, and one mediator between the Heavenly Father and men, the man Yahawashai HaMashiach. So Yahawashai HaMashiach is the bridge for us to actually get mercy and grace from the Heavenly Father. And it starts by this knowledge of this truth because this knowledge of this truth is, is his face. You know, the scripture talk about seeking his face. And this face is, is his truth. Is this truth. So, so Yahweh Shai is the mediator. And when you look up the word mediator, it means lawyer. You know, it means someone who plead, um, who plead to plead a cause. So Yahweh Shai is actually pleading our cause. Before the Heavenly Father. So He is the bridge. He is the gap. He is the gap. You know, the scripture talk about Ark of the Covenant. I want to go deeper into it. Yahweh Shai is the Ark of the Covenant. So He is that bridge between men and the Heavenly Father. You know, I want to sit down and really meditate on it. And you, you have to envision it. What happened in the spiritual world? Is that your house your, your is actually pleading our cause even until this day? Because just, just to actually wake up and give the Yahweh Ba'ashem your shy praise is mercy within, within itself. And because by His mercy we, we live, it's by His mercy we have our being. You know, by His mercy we move day to day. So when you wake up in this truth, you actually realize that the only thing that you, 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 your whole purpose is to give your Hawa Ba'asham your shy praise. And this is His mercy that endured forever. There's knowledge of this truth. So we're not supposed to take that lightly. So how blessed are the elect for your Hawa Shai Himself to be pleading our cause. Because we're hoping that we be part of the elect. We're hoping... As it is written, we are prisoners of hope. 
This is First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. He said, For there is one power, which is the heavenly Father, Yahweh, and one mediator between the Most High and men, the man Yahweh, Shai HaMashiach. Who, verse 6, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. To be testified in due time. Say how say how was I actually gave himself for, for us. So we're not supposed to take that lightly. This truth is real heavy. The mercy of the Heavenly Father is extended unto us. True your how was I. True your how was I. So how blessed are we? How blessed are we? You know? And this video was really inspired by this precept here. This is John, the 17th chapter, you know? And you, you, you can read the whole, the whole chapter. The whole chapter is a very beautiful chapter. You know? It, it, it gives you, it, it, it boosts your spirit. It boosts your spirit. The real men of the Mosai, well, this John the seventeen chapter will boost your spirit. It, it comforts you. You know, this is John 17 verse 15. They say, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. As a matter of fact, let me read from verse 14. John 17 verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world had hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. All right. You know, because we've been persecuted each and every single day. You know, when we go out on the highways and the byways, you know, the scoffers, the scorners, you know, some of, some brothers actually been put to death. Because we, we, we represent the reprover of the world. Because we are, we are here to reprove the world. And especially our people. Two-thirds of our people. You know, verse, seven, verse 15. John 17 verse 15, he said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. From the evil. When you look up the word evil, it means bad time. Say, how, your, 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 how was I actually praying for us? He actually prayed for us and he still continued to be um, pleading our cause in the spiritual realm. You know? The Hawashai prayed for us. Because he is the mediator. He is that bridge. He is that gap. You know? He is that, that, that holy one who was, who was able to, to actually bring us. He was, the, he was the living sacrifice to actually bring us mercy. From the heavenly father because don't forget the heavenly father actually turn turn his back turn um hide his face from us as a people he cast us us he cast off us as a people but he, but through the blood of your how uh, through the blood of your how is that we are able to access mercy again and it starts with this knowledge of this truth so how blessed are the elect how blessed are you you know when you have to sit down and you have to you have to program or, or try to process it process it in your mind you know see it in your mind's eye how blessed are you really to actually know this truth and believe you know out of everyone on, on, on the face of the earth right now the most i have actually chosen you to actually know this knowledge, know this truth. So how blessed are you? And hopefully, the, the, the sincere brothers, you know, part of the elect, how blessed are the elect? Because your Hawashai is the mediator. Your Hawashai is praying for us. And we have to believe that by faith. So you have to see it in your mind's eye. You know? And, and when you look up the word evil, I say evil means bad time. Because the day of the Lord is evil. The day of the Lord is an evil time. So we want to escape that judgment but actually coming. Because the Mosai actually bring on that judgment. Saying, so you know what your Hawashai say? 
at, at the end of the precept, this is John 17, verse 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So we hope when you have about some of shall bring his judgment that we, we can escape, that we could not we, 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 uh, we would not be condemned with the world. You know? A matter of fact, as I said that, this is um I think it's first Corinthians uh, chapter eleven, verse thirty two, if I'm not mistaken. Right, this is um this is first Corinthians chapter eleven verse thirty two. It says, But when we are judged, we are chastened by the most high power, and that is love, that is mercy, and that is love. The chastisement that the heavenly father is actually bringing on, on, on us. You know, to humble us. You know, that we should not be condemned with the world. That we should not be condemned with the world. That we should not be punished with the world. Evil means bad time. Because the Moses is actually bringing evil upon this world. So we want to be able to escape those evils. So that is why that Yahweh Shai is so important for us. Because He is our salvation. He is that bridge between the Heavenly Father and us. Because he was that living sacrifice. He was that lamb worthy to be slain. So my so 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 always keep on keep on like um thinking and processing in your mind like how blessed are the elect. How blessed are the elect. So you have to put that in perspective. You have to you have to envision it. You have to envision it that that your house shy is actually here in our prayers. The, the, the sincere brothers, the sincere ones who actually push in the name your how about some shy, who actually doing this work, this labor of love. You have to you have to envision it in your mind that your house shy is actually pleading our cause. You know. Uh, this is um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. It said, Therefore take unto you the whole armor of the Mosai, that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So we take any whole armor of the Heavenly Father, that we, may, that we may be able to withstand in the evil day. So how was I actually pray that the Heavenly Father keep us from the evil? Because it's going to be the, the, the heavenly father is going to actually bring evil upon this place and it, and it, and it, and it done already showing already. The judgment of the heavenly father is coming heavy upon this place. And all hell is about to break loose. All hell is about to break loose. You know? So the scripture says what? That he may be able to withstand in the evil day. So yeah, how about so, so if it wasn't for your how was I praying for us or being a mediator for us, we are all doomed. You have to watch it like that. We are all doomed. But yeah, how but yeah, how was I was the was the lamb worthy to be slain? So he is that bridge now, he is that act. He redeemed the hopeful elect. He redeemed the nation of Israel started with the well started with the elect and through the elect the, the, the rest of the um the, the, the rest of the nation will be um established but the how I actually die for his elect so you have to sit down and ask yourself how blessed are you how how merciful your how about Samuel Shai is unto us I should say to reveal this truth unto us You know, because it's not by our will. It's not by our righteousness. Because all our, our righteousness are filthy rags. We have no power in ourselves. We are just mere vessels. We are just mere vessels hoping and praying that we will be part of the elect. 
That is why we give diligence to make our calling and election sure. So it's not by our power, it's not by our strength, it's by the mercy of your Hawa Baasham Yaushai. It's by the mercy and the grace of your Hawa Baasham Yaushai we exist. We still exist. We still wake up in the morning to give your Hawa Baasham Yaushai praise all through the day. We worship your Hawa Baasham Yaushai. It's by His mercy we live. So we're not supposed to take this truth for granted for just a second. Because what Yahweh Shai did for us, He gave His life for us and He prayed for us and He still cut you to plead our cause before the, before the Heavenly Father. So you have to envision that in your mind. And when you think about it like that, it, 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 it comforts you, it, it, it gives you strength to actually go on and face the trials. During the day. Because your house your how is actually pleading our cause. You know? But it goes hand in hand. Because you, you have to be doing the work of the Heavenly Father. You know? And I'll just close it off with this last precept here. Ah... Uh, Uh, Ephesians 6 verse 14 he says stand therefore having your loins good about good about about with truth and having on the best plate of righteousness and your feet should with the preparation of the of the of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith we shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of the heavenly father so you know the point coming up here verse 18 he said praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit so that what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be praying all the time we're supposed to be praying all the time and our prayers, your house shall you have to believe your house shall actually hear in our prayers. Because when we take the whole arm of the Mosai, your house shall shall you shall, are we doing things that is pleasing unto your house shall shall by making ourselves a sacrifice and doing this work day in, day out? You know? By faith, we have to believe that your house shall actually hear in our prayer. So that's why the scripture says, um, Ephesians 6 verse 18, he says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching unto with all perseverance and supplication of all saints. You know, so the full part of the, uh, the verse is that praying always with all prayer and supplication. Another word for prayer is beg. It's the beg. So you're supposed to be begging. You're supposed to be begging and pleading with your house shy. That he have that that he um that he hear our prayer, and he plead our cause before the heavenly Father. You know, I want to think about it. You know, as I say, you know, I hope I get the point across in the video. When I think about it, this is what you have to envision. You have to envision your Habashai actually being that ark. You know, being that bridge for us to receive mercy again, and we are receiving mercy because by this this knowledge of this truth. Where the world cannot perceive or the world cannot bear. It's just mercy within itself. You know? So with that, so I hope, it, hope this video was edifying. You know? Till the next one. Shalom.